Step number five. Ability to accept healthy criticism. And this is very, very important. There are also a few points that I would like to discuss with you. So ability to accept healthy criticism or ability to accept constructive criticism means that accept criticism without apologizing and feeling guilty, without feeling shame. And uh, the second element is the ability to differentiate constructive criticism from blame and the ability to not accept other people, people's mistake, other people's responsibility. So when people criticize you, try not to get emotional. Put your emotions aside and turn on your logic, your brain, think first. This is specifically the situation when you should uh, try to separate your mind from your heart. So when somebody is criticizing you, put your emotions aside. Listen first, second, make conclusions, and then choose your reaction. An emotionally immature person will stop listening at the beginning of the conversation. He will react emotionally right away, and often he won't even make any conclusions. So first, if you want to be a psychologically responsible person, if you want to be emotionally mature person, so first think, uh, then try to identify if this is constructive criticism or if the person is trying to blame you for something that you did not do. And then based on your conclusion, you can choose your reaction. Step number six, how to choose your reaction basically, right? So step number six is ability to choose your reaction in stressful situation. If you know that this person is blaming you and it's not your fault, then how can you <clears throat> reply, right? What can you say? And <clears throat> instead of, instead of uh, reacting based on your emotions, you have to choose your reaction based on three important uh, components. A, who are you talking to? Is it a family member? Is it your boss? Is it your co-worker or your friend? Or maybe it's your neighbor. So what is your status in this specific situation? With friends, we're equal, right? With your boss, you have a lower status. Your boss is higher. With family members, it can be different. With kids, you should be responsible, um, a responsible adult. With your grandparents, you should show them your respect. And with strangers in a supermarket, you don't have to explain yourself, but you should be respectful. So uh, number one, based your reaction on who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Who is this person? Number two, B, what result do you want to achieve in this specific situation? Do you want to keep your job? Do you want to keep your friendship or your marriage? So what result do you want to achieve? And number three, C, A, B, C, evaluate the situation. Is it the first time that this person is being rude to you? Or has he done this many times before? Is it his regular behavior? Or is this a new situation for everyone? Is this person specifically offending you or is he just being emotional about the situation and his words and actions are not being addressed specifically towards you? So this is three very important uh, components to remember. So how can you choose uh, your reaction in a stressful situation? Think about three things. A, who are you talking to? B, what results do you want to achieve and see evaluate the situation is it the first time or this person has done it many times before okay let's continue step number seven ability to communicate ability to discuss different opinion without creating drama or conflicts ability to accept that uh, the other person even uh, your best friend, your soulmate or your child 
has the right to have a, an opposite opinion from yours. Ability to respect an opposite opinion of yours. Ability to listen. Ability not to interrupt trying to prove that he is wrong and you are right. So ability to communicate and discuss different opinions. So uh, please look at those seven, seven points that we have already discussed and write in chat or in comment section, if you're gonna watch it, this video later, please write uh, the corresponding number of the sign that you were able to identify in your friends, in your family members, or perhaps even in yourself. This is a time when you can reflect on yourself and admit where you need to work on yourself and where you can grow. If you want to be successful in life, if you want to create love and caring and meaningful relationships in your life, then try to be open-minded. Try to see your own imperfections. So try to put your defense mechanism aside and um, your emotions aside just for a minute and look at those seven points that we have already discussed and think about them, where you can grow. So please write a number in chat.